Hi, this is Jason from Aguirre's Clocks, and today we're going to take a look at Howard Miller's presidential model Reagan. It is model 610-999, and it is one of their top-of-the-line models, only exceeded by the J.H. Miller. It is finished in Hampton Cherry and is heavily distressed. That means that before the case is finished and stained, they purposely knock marks into it to make it look older than it is. And you can see those right here. There are little nicks in it all over the place if they do, uh, they used to do it with a chain. I'm not sure how they're doing it now, uh, but they do that intentionally to make it look older. The finish also lends to that. The Hampton Cherry finish is more of a flat or a satin finish. And as you can see here, it's darker down here and lighter up here. Uh, again, to make it look older than it is. Now, the color on this clock is more of a brown than a red. You would normally find in their uh, upper end clocks, they usually use a Windsor Cherry, which has a high gloss on it, but this one's not done that way. It has olive ash burl accents, and at first glance, it's not, it, it doesn't have any features that really stand out. However, if you get up next to it and look at it, you'll see the actual detail involved in it. The pictures don't do this justice that you see online. I uh, will start with the finial up here. It has a urn, what's called an urn finial, and it's carved all the way around. Uh, pretty good carving also. And directly underneath it, it has this deeply carved applique. And then following that down, uh, the columns on the side also have a very uh, similar carving to the applique and the finial uh, at the top. And then there's about six inches of it right here in the middle of it. And then down at the base of the columns also. Again, all this matches the finial and the applique underneath the finial. And my favorite part about this clock, I think it's probably the only one that has feet like this. Again, same carving, feet stick way far out from the clock. Uh, and the carving, it, not super detailed, but you do, it does go underneath the clock also. <clears throat> you also get this really pretty carved relief all the way around the clock on the sides, the front. And then it's also up here between the doors. This one has a nice carved applique at the top of the bottom door. And then you get these rosettes at the base of the door. Again, all this pretty much matches the carving throughout the clock. It's pretty much all the same. Uh, as far as the wood goes, it's a cherry case. Again, finished in Hampton cherry, distressed and aged. Uh, all the way around the clock, at the top and the bottom, you have this olive ash burl. It's book match, which means this piece, you can see this knot right here, is a mirror to this piece over here, which has the similar knot over here. Uh, again, the sides also have the olive ash burl on it. Uh, they all come in a little lighter, a little darker due to the finishing process, depending on where they were cut and stained in the, in the process. Again, all the way over here on the side. And then down here at the base, more of it over here on the side. And this is a pretty good example of how you can see it's light here and dark here. Uh, they just wiped more of the stain off in the center so it looks older. Even the corners, which I kind of like about this clock where the, all the corners are angled on here instead of just straight out. Again, book matched in the front. It's split right here. So 
this side looks very this side looks very similar to this side pendulum disc uh, this center disc on this pendulum will match the wedding bands on the weight and the dial. This dial is only used on the presidential model clocks. It has a unique lunar calendar to it. Uh, you get the, the moon, Miller's town, the moon again as it goes around, and then the Miller's house. You have your strike selection and nighttime silent on this side and all your chimes over here, which are St. Michael's, Whittington, and Westminster. This clock allows you to have it play music and not strike the hour. Strike the hour, not play music. Do both or do neither. And then the nighttime silent shuts off at 10 p.m. and comes back on at 7.15 a.m. Uh, all the glass in this clock, including this top door, which isn't usually done, except for in their presidential models is beveled. Every piece of it, front, sides, all beveled. Side doors are hinged in the presidential model instead of being lift up panels. Again, beveled glass. Uh, the other difference is the glass is held in with these wood strips on the presidential model. On all their other line, rest of their line, uh, it's held in with a plastic or rubber grommet instead of that. It's another upgrade to the presidential model. It's running the Kenninger triple chime movement made for Howard Miller. And I'll go ahead and play Whittington and take you around. Now, Whittington and St. Michael's gives you a progression of eight notes. The Westminster option gives you a progression of four notes. Switch over to Westminster, that was Whittington. And give you, this is what most people listen to, so I'll go ahead and let you know, see what that sounds like. Now, this is their biggest clock in the presidential lineup. It comes in at 93 inches tall, 31 and a half inches wide, and 18 and a half inches deep. It's a sizable clock. Uh, it's also their best-selling presidential model.
If you have any questions, please feel free to call 512-452-4558. You can find us at mcguiresclocks.com under McGuire's Clocks on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.